Hello everybody and welcome back to Hidden Expedition Dawn of Prosperity. We are the greatest hidden object players in the world, underwater and underground. My name's Michael. I'm Amanda. And oh boy, if we got a treat for you. You see there were these teenagers going to school as scientists who created end of the world stuff that formal Santa Claus here didn't know about, but his assistant did. And so we're a secret agent in a volcano... And we're going to bust this wide open after we play some golf. <laughs> we already played the golf. We played the golf and we won. Uh-huh. So we're done with golf. Now it's time to take a scalpel to someone. Yeah, apparently yeah. we're going to do something with a scalpel, something with an auger shaft. Oh, it's going to be ugly. A, Whatever we got planned. A gun trigger. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And a golden pendant. That's to pin on our own chest as an award for torturing people <laughs> with... All the other three all things. All the other violent bits of gear we got the other four things i'm pretty sure we can get up to something nefarious with this coat hook too yeah if they got a coat they better look out <laughs> all right so i seem to remember uh not santa claus here told us to go uh we looked at a camera mm -hmm. and told us to go look for somebody duncan his second in command the yeah. real bad guy i guess i misjudged him he looks genuinely worried about the experiments you know, this, the secret agent in this, like, it reminds me of one time I was reading about, like, a sarcastic take on Batman, where they were like, you can tell he's the world's greatest detective, because when he goes and beats up a criminal to get in, for, like, to find out what's going on, the criminal tells him to go find another criminal, and then he beats that guy up, and that's the guy that tells him what's going on. Right. Real detective work. Right. That's some detective work, when you got to go two steps yep. with your dumb... I have solved the mystery of beating this guy until he tells me <laughs> what he knows. Right. And I feel like that's how we are as a secret agent. Like, we found the guy who told us it was a different guy, and we are completely credulously believing that. We're just taking him at his word. But that's, that's what uh, Batman would do. That's what makes us a good secret agent, I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, that's us. Also, we broke an earthquake machine. No big deal. We didn't break it. It kind of was already broken. You can take credit for it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can just No say one knows otherwise. We fixed everything. Until you opened your yap. Also, where were that one girl's father? While well, we're taking credit for stuff that's not us. We are? I thought the janitor was. Yeah, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> we're a girl. Remember, our character was being gender essentialist about, like, that's no way to treat a lady. Right. Our protagonist is a girl, and one of her arms is made of candy floss. That's right. Well, Can't maybe, touch water without dissolving. Maybe both arms. Maybe all limbs. We don't really know mm -hmm. her situation. we got to find a mirror. Yeah. I don't, I don't have high hopes. So, we have a map. Uh-huh. We haven't really used this map. But look, it's, it's got... It's a really nice map. It's a nice map. We should have been using this the whole time. Got a satellite view of everything. We weren't using it. <laughs> Your current location. Uh -huh. Locations where you have something to do. All right. Okay. Street corner and pier. Here on the way to Duncan. It all works out. All right. Well, let's go there. Swift feet. It's like we got a, an achievement for using the map as intended. Uh-huh. That's uh, that's some baby sweep stuff. Uh, what else were we supposed to do here? It said we had stuff to do here, but I don't see anything. We already dismantled the roller blade yeah. in a previous episode. We found something in that tire. Right. There's no dismantling the tricycle, so what else is around to click on? I don't know. I don't see anything. Were we supposed to do something? I mean, going into the house would be going to a different screen. Right. Oh, we're supposed to do something here. The length of rope might come in handy. So we right. scalpel ourselves off the rope? I guess so. So on our way by, we're just destroying a child's toy. <laughs> I don't know what we need rope for, but it's important to wreck this thing. Yeah, I feel like we've seen rope around that we declined to take, but... But it wouldn't have broken a child's heart. Duncan can't go far without his wheelchair. Oh, I remember this ableist bit of crap. I have to get inside that boathouse. You know, that guy could be anywhere. You don't know how mobile he is. Um, let's... Hey, can we open up the coat hanger? Can we open up the coat hanger? In our inventory? Like, is it missing that other gold medallion thing that we have? I mean, Not what it rope. literally says is it could be useful if I tie it to a string. Oh. So that's our grappling hook for something. Hook to rope. 
Or it's for grabbing this. Um, getting the science fact. <laughs> I <laughs> demand knowledge. <laughs> Hopefully there's something else in here. No, nope, just a fact. No, look, there's something else. Oh, you're right. It's a vacuum tube. Huh. You know, I know where that vacuum tube goes. and It's, it's the janitor's room, wasn't it? Us. No, it's in uh, the girls' room. Huh. At least it's not too far to walk. Nope. Well, we could use our handy transporter map now that we know that it exists. We're just so used to playing these old-ass games that don't have nice maps. Sean, Matt, I found a way out. We just need to get to one of the boats without being spotted. I'll come back for you as soon as I scout the exit. And don't forget, this is for your ears only. Delete it when you're done listening. Boy, these genius kids, it's just it's too bad they don't know anything about data security or encryption. What do you mean they don't know about data security? They hit a vacuum tube out in the middle of a lake. <laughs> Not anyone was going to stumble across it. Only a weirdo like us who demanded every science fact we see. If there wasn't a science fact there, maybe we wouldn't have even have solved that mystery. I, I feel like there's other vacuum tubes around here probably. Is the thing. Also, whatever they played could have just been hooked up to a different thing. I, you know. I don't really share your vacuum tube optimism. <laughs> okay. His wheelchair is just tipped over there. A boat hoist key. Huh. So we're going to steal the getaway boat. Nice try, kids. But we're getting out of here. <laughs> that would be funny. All right. Um, we got to solve uh, this, this here. by just doing this. Um. What are we doing with this? Oh, at different heights they cause the locks to undo. What? Or... Okay. Okay. At Wait, the exact just, same height they that's cause... That's not a puzzle, a... that's just a fidget spinner. It's just a lock on a door. I don't know why expect, you expect it to be complex. <laughs> People need to use this door. <laughs> You can't expect people to slow down and have to do a logic puzzle that takes 15 to 20 minutes <laughs> to get into a commonly used building like a boathouse. I hope that I'm not wrong that Duncan is inside. Otherwise, I've lost too much time tinkering with this lock. This is the time you're going to choose to complain about the locks being too complicated? This is where we find him transformed into Mecha Duncan. Well, that was the janitor. Yep. Trank dart. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> I know you think you can stop me, but you're really just forcing my hand. You will fail, and soon all of mankind will fall. Cool. Is this all right, goodbye. revenge for your floating face? Cause it's a common affliction around here. What? He he can walk? Shameless liar! Fuck off. <laughs> You saw somebody in a wheelchair and you made assumptions. That's your own fault, secret agent. Uh, Clara. Clara's in danger. You have to help her. Yeah, we saw. Okay, Phil Collins. Calm How come down. you didn't rate a trank dart? You just go down like a punk? <laughs> I'll, I'll follow as soon as this tranquilizer wears off. Oh, okay. He did get a dart somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's concealed by his ponytail. Does he really have a ponytail? That's he, so gross. You've been commenting on it the whole game. It's the same guy. <laughs> Every time I see it, I hate it. He looks okay. The dosage must have been smaller than the one used on Sam. Or Sam is a lightweight, you know. Yeah, maybe he doesn't know how to handle his drugs. This is a sophisticated lock. Forcing it would most likely break the whole thing. Let's break the whole thing. I'm not invested in this. Um. What? What? Oh, it's a puzzle. Oh. I guess? Since we have an auger as well, is it supposed to, yeah, go in there? Yeah, I suppose. What, what am I doing here? Alright, now I get info. Place the gears and shafts so they transfer the motion from the gear in the lower right corner to the one in the upper left. Hmm. Um. Oh, you get a whole toolkit, huh? I guess. Where are the mounts for the gears, though? I, I guess they go around the... 
I don't know. I'm wondering, actually, now that you mention it. Like... I think the next thing would probably be the auger, which is why they gave it to us. But it's not moving there. Hmm, you're right. So it must be that this wheel thing touches a gear. But it's not making it obvious where the gear gets mounted. Right. I mean, like, shouldn't it hook up with this? Like, it should be... I guess not, because really, that you, it wouldn't transfer force that way. If it's perpendicular, it would just, you know, bend the... Wait. There. Oh, we have, we have a mount. There we go. Oh, and we ourselves turn it perpendicular, so... Um... Uh... Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I don't really get how that's supposed to happen. Are we supposed to mount it on the bottom so it goes the other way? I'm, I have no idea. I don't oh, really get Oh, there's a lot more pieces on the bottom that yeah. are dark, huh? Yeah. So they really expect you to... Can you just attach those anywhere on the pipe? Yeah. Interesting. But, like, I thought these would move these, you, you know? Think. Does it only move if it goes to a... If, Sideways gear? No, I was thinking if it, if it uh, has an end cap to rotate on. Mm, I don't know. I don't see that they've given us any end caps. They it just seems us... like it's the only perpendicular thing we got. That's wild. Are we just supposed to stack some... I don't... Yeah, I don't get this. Let's hit skip and find out what they expected us to do. All right. Yes. Show us how your contraption was supposed to... Really? It didn't even look like they gave us that many of those perpendicular things to set those up. Yeah, were they behind other stuff? I don't know. That's right. I hope that didn't cost me too much time. It didn't, because we know where the skip button goes. Then that beach ball that's... Yep. No, in the back left. Something sparkling over there. Oh, okay. Uh, this. Free box! Woo! Free whatever that is. Sailing emblem. I guess this guy that has a ponytail and we kept joking that he was in a jam band, it mm -hmm. makes sense he would have a higher drug tolerance than our straight-edged secret agent friend. So, not that he's actually waking up any faster, but... Alright. Are we done? Are sure. We... Zooming so. off into the sunset, I guess. Let's check the map. We've got this cool map. All right, it looks yeah, like... Yeah, it's all clear. Wait. Pier. It says there's something left to do at the pier. Oh. Back one step? Yeah, but I'm going to use the map now that I know it's there. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, we were supposed to do something with this. Wait, what's that? Uh, how dare you call me a failure, <laughs> you who bask in fate. I am not reading this, is, this guy's shitty poetry. It's a poem. I'm not doing it. It rhymes. I'm not. Whoever wrote this poem must have been deeply hurt and really angry. I'll take your word for it. I'm not even going to read it with my eyes, let alone out loud. Uh, anything else? Oh. The other emblem. Great. So now we got something to put on our boat. Cool. So it'll be fancy. It's a go faster emblem. <laughs> uh, or not. Or uh, not. Let's go boating. There's Duncan's boat, but where is he? And more importantly, where is Clara? And who put all these stupid globe statues everywhere? Seriously. Well, I guess this idiot guy has been littering them around. Duncan? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, he's obviously got a nefarious plan, and I suppose that scattering stupid globes around to distract us is probably part of it. Don't you think? Try not to think about it too much at all. Duncan broke this lever system in an attempt to keep me busy for a while. I bet it's going to work. I'll show him by shooting it. I'm missing the pieces for this puzzle. Well, why didn't you mention that earlier, lady? I didn't know that I was looking for something else. Unless there's a cloud piece over here somewhere. Maybe oh, here. I told you it was our go faster emblem. You were right. What? Hey. It's real picky about placement. Oh, I have to move this out of the way first. Some planks. A, a plank.
Oh, luckily, we found the backup lever. Okay. <laughs> I like this is probably Duncan's boat, right? It looks different from the one that we were going to hop into. I guess. So he just yanked the lever off and tossed it in his in own a boat. compartment yeah. in a boat. Figuring we'd never find it because who carries a shipping emblem with them? Right. When the shipping emblem is hidden by a terrible poem. <laughs> he probably felt pretty safe. The light is coming from behind the rock. I should look around carefully. There might be more about this than meets the eye. I bet there isn't. But if we're if we're looking around, we're just using our eyes, so... Then it would if meet the eye, it's more than meets yeah. the eye, we're, we're out of luck because all we have is eyes. <laughs> we also touch things a lot. I was right. There is a secret passage. They didn't disappear just like that. Was that really what you thought before? Hmm. First, let's dig through some garbage. Absolute weirdo. Oh, look, a hidden object scene. There's so few of them in this game, like, compared to what we would normally expect. Mm -hmm. And I don't really love how they're done, since they are You do us... want that shuttlecock you were on, by the way. Um, where was I on it? In the upper right, by okay. the finch. I was too busy talking about how... Complaining about how there's are. not enough of these things? You want that teapot? Um... I just, I don't love the way they're done with this, like, they show you a picture of a thing. Yeah. Cause the like, metal's in the upper left by the snail. Because um, sometimes the ambiguity of the word is sort of like part of the puzzle. Adds that's to the fun. challenge. Yeah, yeah, it's like they say bow and you're like, am I looking for a bow, like a bow and arrow? Or am I looking for a bow made out of ribbon or what? You know? Mm -hmm. And it's just a little extra something. And Number three is behind the barbed wire. It keeps sparkling like we're idiots. Well, we did put it on easy. Hmm. We gotta get rid of the barbed wire first. Cool. Done. <laughs> you are free, three. <laughs> uh, what is this? Tweezers? tweezers. Yeah. Alright, those are right here. Yep. Oh boy, here's the okay. scissors. And is this the sh That's a pickaxe. Mm -hmm. Do you see a shovel? Do you see a flute? I see a flute. I see the brush. It's on top of the bucket above the red lantern. Oh, yeah. The pear is right in the bowl in the forefront. <laughs> I don't hide these much. Wow. You really couldn't be bothered. Isn't this the thing that they're asking us for here? No, that looks like a stein, not a lantern. Oh. Is this it back here? That's a that's more like an urn. Uh, this is what they want. All right. Just a shovel, then. This is an axe. Just a regular old trench shovel. This is a pickaxe. Is it here? No, that's a candle. It's a candle, yep. What am I looking for? It's... A, a, oh, that was one of those fold-up shovels. Alright, I'll give them credit for that being moderately tricky. Since they showed it in collapsed form? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's go use it to bash in this guy's head. <laughs> I think that's what we're supposed to. I think that's how we solve the mystery. We established the Batman methodology. Oh well. Drat! I wish I was a foot taller. I wish you kept your grappling hook, dumbass. It'd also be nice to have a baller. Don't. Or to have a girl who looked good. No. <laughs> Saying we could call her. Duncan is wrong if he thinks that stopping me is that easy. <laughs> if he thinks he can cause me to be genetically short, well, <laughs> he's got another thing coming. Where could they go? I'm sure they aren't too far. We're out of the volcano anyway. You have no idea about this guy's... Ken, me. Can you hear me? Who the hell are you? Is that our partner? That's... It's a t totally different look for him if it is. What, he awake? Agent Sam. He's safe and sound. Oh, different no, guy. Some other guy. You until just now. What's going on? Where are you? Your technology is terrible and so is your secret agenting technique. I have many complaints. Underground facility. Artificial viruses. That's awful. Stay safe. We're sending a team to get you. Great. Glad you don't trust me to do my job. I can't risk waiting for backup. I need to stop Duncan right now. But first, I glow. But first, let's pick up his garbage. Uh, surely he's down there, right? Unless that was covering what we've come up. Oh, that's true. That probably is it, actually. 
All right, we've got some cool. planks. So now we could rebuild <laughs> All right. the bridge. Everything is our problem. I always yeah. forget. Of course, Duncan sabotaged the bridge. Maybe it was Did just he? like this. What if, am I... Are we really picky that the bridge goes back in the right order and we line up cracks? I don't know. I guess we are. You know, as long as our feet can get across it, secret agent who's under some time pressure. What am I even trying to match Do you see here? the scratch? Like the trident there? You gotta... Yeah, but look, it, the one that was right didn't actually match up to it. It did. There's three lines there. They I all have was... three lines there. I thought I was looking for something that exactly mirrored this shape, but there mm. wasn't anything, and it's because these don't actually mirror each other. The important thing is not to care at all. You're probably right. All right. So we'll keep these other two mm -mm. for... Oh, we no. use them right away. Cool. That should do it. It's what they trained me for. Clara, oh, there she oh. is. Hey, get me out of here, please. Yeah, what are you? That press is gonna come down any second. I can hear it. You're not tied up anymore. Why don't you just open that door? I've got to get rid of this fast. Clara's life is on the line. With with what? I mean, use the spade to break the chains. I don't think it will. Yeah, it seems no. unlikely. Well, goodbye, Clara. We tried. <laughs> <laughs> this weird fake urgency. I mean, if this was a real situation, you would just get here and push. Or, yeah, pull her out of the window. Or pull her out of the window. But I would just push the whole car, I think. I would just grab a little hand and globe statue. Oh, sure. And then I would, yeah, look at a lock. <laughs> just for a moment. That's an appropriate way to lock the power unit. Clobber it with the shovel. I don't think that's going to work. Shovels fix everything. They don't. You see that they don't. Uh, I guess we're going to be going over here. It would be silly to expect to find something fully functional at the scrapyard. I, I guess that's pretty silly. What if we hit it with a shovel? It's tempting, but you'd have to use it on the glass. <laughs> the, the, already the already broken, broken glass. glass that we could clearly get through. Broken door. Uh, Duncan put a lot of preparation into this. The house is surrounded by an electric fence. I have my doubts. Oh, good. Let's get a science fact. <laughs> there must be something I can use to block it. Yeah, there's a lot of things. Throw just about anything in there. Yeah, I, I think your shovel might work in this case. <gasps> what? It's too wide. It's too... Uh, there's two ends to it. One of them can... Mm, never mind. Never mind. You do what you want, protagonist. Is this all that we have in our inventory? Is the trigger the... Come on, open up. Drat, it's locked. What the... <laughs> I'm just... You know, the big spade lockpick. You're the one that told me to use it on three different things so far. Alright, um, let's what look at the what map. What else is in our inventory? You can see our whole inventory. Oh, there's nothing before the trigger? No. Okay. Cool. Should we look at the science facts while we're dithering around? <laughs> Yeah, Let's hold on, it. Claire. I need to learn some science. Car crushers crush cars. Oh, okay. Oh, there's two types. Pancake and balling press. Mm -hmm. Flattens the car or compresses it into a compact cube. Underground lakes or subterranean lakes are located under the surface of the Earth. The largest was found in Dragon's Breath Cave in Namibia. Covering an area of almost five acres. Well, Do you hear that, Clara? Five acres! <laughs> Hey, Clara! <laughs> it's a big underground lake! Alright, we were supposed to do something, there was something else before. back yeah. here. We'll be right back. Just try and use your head to hold everything up. You know, or climb out since you don't seem to be actually tied up anymore or anything. What? A lock pick? Okay. Cool. Circuit diagram. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Are we done here now? Is there a big question mark up by the mountains? Yep. Where am I? Uh, this can't be too far from the mountaintop, I guess. I guess. Good detective work. Alright, so now we pick a lock. I mean, you would think, but... I would think. Not that no. one. The one with the gnashy teeth. On the right. This one? 
You're no, guessing. We gotta put stuff. Oh well, you're right. Oh, it's gonna make us do like a like a fallout thing, I guess. How, How do, do we I... know when it goes one level in? It did just now. Oh. So it's moving to now. So we just keep rotating it around until it clicks. I guess here it is. See, it moved oh, down a little right. bit. So the way that you pick this lock is by going in a full circle several times in a row. Yeah. That's great. Yep. Challenging. Think, think. This is a scrapyard. There must be something useful. There. No, there mustn't. There, people put things in scrapyards because they're scrap. They're no longer useful. Here's a hot water bottle, Clara. If you start getting a headache. <laughs> it's a strange, that's a strange way to lock the box. My experience says that means there is something important inside. I'm going to get these binoculars and then watch real close while you get crushed. <laughs> okay, we got And to learn about science. science. Metal bar. Well, let's see if this metal bar will jam the gears just so we can get this fake urgency going. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's not gonna kill you. <laughs> it's not that kind of game. There we go. Cool. That just slowed it down. There has to be a way to open this door. Here. This is the only useful thing I can find in here. Oh, you want to start smoking with the time you have left? <laughs> Your no. hands are free. <laughs> we can use the spade to knock the glass out so you won't get too cut up. Should we do that? Should we try that? Just to... Sure. No. No. Well, it won't let us do the sensible thing. Just, we tried. You know, there's a hand with a globe right there in the middle by the gas can. I don't care anymore. Okay. I don't have time to fiddle with this. It will come off one way or another. Well, yeah, let's light it on fire. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> A weird time to start throwing the hidden object scenes at us. Hang in there, Clara. We're uh, we're hurrying. We just need to find all the dice. Need a bunch of dice, Clara, <laughs> and some buttons. This is important, Clara. Oh man, if only you were out of that vehicle, you could help us find all the dice and the buttons. Cause uh, there's there's no way this mystery gets solved without all the dice lined up, <laughs> and then and then all the buttons in my pocket, the exact. The correct number of buttons. <laughs> if I find extra buttons, I'm not going to touch them. <laughs> I have a, I have a very set idea about how many buttons I need. Just one more. <laughs> okay, and then it's it's real dusty in here. I know you're going to die, but if I could just if I could just dust, get a feather duster. Hang in there, Clara. Okay, th things in this filthy scrapyard are almost straightened up to the point where I can worry about your life. <laughs> I just need to find some string and a safety pin. I, it's not going to save you. I just need to know where they are. <laughs> Nail clippers are at the top middle next to the pen. Thank you. There's the knife. Scissors are behind the key. Uh, one more X and I win? Yeah, just... Drawing the tic-tac-toe. I, I just... Hold on, Clara. I just really need to win against this <laughs> game that somebody abandoned that was one step away from, you know, picking either of the two sides. There's an X and an O, and I could be either one of them, so I'm going to be the winning side. Clara, try to keep you up to date on what's happening in here. I know I'm out of your eye lines. So you can't tell how urgently uh, I'm working towards freeing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh too hard to find scissors. They're behind the keys. I mentioned Harry. <laughs> oh. Well, you also said a million other things and they were funny. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep Clara in the loop. No, I understand. It's, I think that's the strings a good at the idea. top, it's like silver. It doesn't look like string, it looks like steel. Oh, you're right. That's like a fish. I thought that was fishing line. I was fooled for a little while, Clara, but don't worry, I'm coming to save you. I found, found the silver string. Looks like fishing line or some kind of steel. Congratulations, you found an owl. Anyway, I picked up one thing that's actually useful, so just 
Just hang in there. Hey, can we talk about how it's kind of weird that your dad's a janitor? What? <laughs> what? What am I supposed to use the awl to break the chains? That doesn't make any no, sense. No, it doesn't. I thought that I was supposed to jam that thing with another thing, but no. Apparently, now we're just gonna work on the. <laughs> what about the other lock? Can we get into this with an awl? Uh, no. I meant the one on the front of the tool chest. That's definitely going to take a lightning bolt shaped thing or they wouldn't put a lightning bolt shaped uh, recess right. on the front. So, I... Well, you keep her updated. <laughs> Alright, I don't think we're done finding all this stuff. We just found this mask. There's, there's, I, I can just tell that there's two more somewhere. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know how to unscrew this, but I used an awl to just open a box and now I got a different tool. That also won't help. So just hang in there. <laughs> Wire cutters. Okay, if I just rewire this bus over here that's got nothing to do with what you're doing, I could probably just okay, get electrocuted. Tools. Great. Now oh. try to get the door open. I guess those count. Alright. Bolt cutters is what you usually <laughs> use for chains, but uh Huh. Uh she teleported out. If you could do that Thanks. the whole time, why did you wait? <laughs> Too close. My leg was practically crushed. I can't really walk. You'll have to catch Duncan. Should be easy. He's in a wheelchair. Oh, wait. <laughs> He's inside, preparing for deployment. If you don't stop him, the world will be thrown back into the Stone Age. Yeah, did we ever get an idea of why he thought that was a good idea? I hid a safety override in the game. Beat There's the computer, game? and it'll stop the process. Here, Duncan dropped this. It might be important. The, hmm? What? Two more masks? Uh, There's no way that's important. Compass pendant? Sure. He had this thing that goes into a junkyard. Cool. There's chest. the lightning token. Here. Thanks for giving me a key to give me another key. That's that's all these games are. Mm. It's better when they hide it a little more. Mm. Is the thing. What do we need here? Uh, probably need that um, piece of paper diagram. with the yeah to tell us what to do. All right. So take the clamp from thirty and put it on A. <coughs> I'm too busy coughing. <clears throat> oh no! Is it the world destroying virus? Maybe. That's apparently in a game. <laughs> B is 70. Uh, or we could, oops, or we could just hit skip. C is 10. No. Okay. Skip is skip. You, you're you pretty happy with uh, how much use you've gotten out of your high school algebra? Yeah. I don't know that I've used it enough. This is probably my last chance, but let's go ahead and skip the puzzle. Look at those alligator clips go. Wait, we hooked all that up, and now that turned it off? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a fun new kind of electricity where if you wire things up, they stop working. Huh. Electricity's going somewhere else. I should be prepared for all kinds of security. After all, it's Duncan's hideout. I mean, he hasn't really impressed me so far, but I guess it's good to be on your guard. But let's put some sugar in his ATV. <laughs> Maybe that's just light playing tricks on me, but I think I could see something metallic in the reservoir. Put like, your mouth on it and just suck. Like the gas tank? <laughs> Throw a trigger in it. <laughs> yeah, we're going to put more things in there until it all comes back up. Uh, oh, look. Hidden objects. Oh, look. He's just been throwing stuff in his yard like a giant slob. Again, not, not really so much hidden objects. It's just... Cluttered objects. See those brown gloves on the brown wood that are so invisible that it's tough to find them? Mm -hmm. By shoe, do they mean boot? Is that the sort of ambiguity we've... <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh... Butterflies uh, next to the coffee cup in the upper right. The lion is the, the lion. <laughs> I guess a button is small, and that's tricky. Oh, what if they made it really big? Did they? I don't know. 
I haven't seen it yet. I haven't either. Oh, well, see, we talk shit, and now we're not going to be able to find the last thing. Really, seriously, did you make the button super small or something? Or did you make it super big? Or did you make it the exact same color as the background? <laughs> or is it a drawing of a button? I mean, I can't come stop your evil plan. I need to find a button. <laughs> you better not be going anywhere starting a virus with a video game or something. Not until I find a button. A button and two more masks. That was a button? Oh, not like a sewing uh, button. Like but like for a... the bus. Okay. Um, you... You better wait right here. I gotta go fix a bus. <laughs> and yeah, I'm digging in your garbage. And then I'm coming for you. As soon as I'm through with the garbage. Uh, Robot emblem. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I was right. Everything is locked around here. Even the mailbox. Why are we messing with this mail? <laughs> You got any sweepstakes or any coupons? How you villain? <laughs> I'ma take them. I gotta get discounts on pork chops that your local grocery store was gonna give to you. And that'll undo your plan. I feel like that should require more hooking up, but I'm not gonna complain that they're making it easy <laughs> <Nope>. on us. <laughs> it's a mechanical thing. Looks like this bus was thoroughly scavenged, but who knows? There still might be something useful. Weren't you just saying that nothing in a scrapyard would be useful? Uh, I think they said the opposite. They said the opposite. I'm the one that said that because I was right. I'm afraid I'll need to pop it first. We're actually kind of sad about having to pop the balloon to get the feather out of it. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Balloon. This one can go, too. Same, same needle. Bam. But it's going to make me pick it up every time before... Cool. Just grab the butterfly off the outside first because you need it. Now you can probably destroy it. That was fun. <laughs> Alright, uh, the hammer that the teddy bear is holding. We need that. Uh, we need the cherries that are in the teddy bear's lunch box. Those bunnies hopped off the box. But I don't see bunnies. They're at the top, pinned to the vest. Oh. There's the fork we need. Now we just need to find the queen. Okay. Is it in this pocket? Is it laying right here? That uh, doll morphed. So it did. Well, congratulations to us morphing masters. <laughs> or the acids kicking in. Uh, One of those. The Bioshock bunny mask in the upper right we can grab now. Okay. Is that Bioshock or is that uh, Donnie Darko? Yes. Okay. The uh, tortoise that's at the top, on top of the, like, scarf. Okay. That um... afro pick behind the, the hat <laughs> and the apple juice in the lunchbox. How about the piggy bank? I don't see the piggy bank offhand. It's behind the bear. Oh, there it is. And a wad of chewing gum. <laughs> what is that supposed uh, to A knapsack. Is that the catcher's mitt? Is that no, what they want for that? Is, they, so. is it this? It's I that. I guess it's that. Okay. The dice bag. <laughs> okay. The coin purse. All right, puzzle pieces. So oh, all the puzzle pieces. Thing. There's a science fact in the driver's seat, by the way. But and then I gotta say, it's kind of cool that the driver was a gamer. <laughs> it's totally like a video gamer seat rig he's got there. Oh yeah. The little handles. That's true. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, something over here. A little uh, robot. Combine that with the robot other emblem. Um, <laughs> that's a convenient stash. One would think a genius like Duncan would be more creative. Don't hang a lantern on your shitty game. <laughs> uh, here, just dig a pencil in there. Come on. Let's put the emblem together. We're gonna... We're gonna do something where we assemble a gun. Sure looks like it. So why are we messing around with anything else? Once we have a gun, <laughs> the, the game is over. Everyone's gonna do what we want then. A robot, what a strange emblem. 
So uh, what, we need some cutting implement to get into there because we can't put our candy floss hands in and open it up? I guess. What's down there? Maybe it's some sort of secret passage hidden in plain sight. In a bus? <laughs> I don't All right. know. Here, is this supposed to be like for this? Yes. Huh. Are you serious? Wow. Why? Why are you? It won't line it up because the clouds in the way. I don't know. Uh, don't twist it around. I have to move everything out of the way too. Ugh. Game. It's bad enough you're just making me do simple shape recognition. Also, it doesn't snap into place. It's annoying too. Oh, we're secret agents. Yep. What? It's now missing what? a star. Oh. Really? Fuck you. I don't care if I'm... <laughs> I don't care if I'm five milliseconds away from solving it. I'm so pissed at you. We found him. It's truly unbelievable that a kid that young could possess an IQ that surpasses Einstein's, Tesla's, or Bohr's. Duncan's knowledge in mathematics and his understanding of physics and biochemistry are literally unbelievable. I can just imagine what he will be able to do with the right guidance. So he was a genius, but he didn't get enough appreciation or something. I guess. A magnet? Are we supposed to fish this out with a magnet? Sure. Are we? Are we? I feel like that could have worked. No, it's not this. It's not made of metal? No. I guess not. Um, what kind of a lock is that thing looking for? It's kind what of a weird shape. I don't know. We don't have anything that matches up, I guess. It's that weird symbol again on the back of the bus. Yep. Their logo for their weird ass science magic company um is there anything else to do in here oh there was this gross you got me doing it you got me thinking of it like being all nasty um judging by the lock shape this should be a gun case <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're going to lock a gun in there, the so lock should be shaped like a gun. putting together a fake gun? Aww. Are we? So then it didn't let you do it. I mean, it didn't let me do it because I don't have it all, but I think it's going to just take the gun from us to open that lock eventually. Huh. Alright, I'm going to look at the map and find out what we need to do next. Uh, supply shack, which we're in. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. House front has stuff to do in it. Oh, we were supposed to use the magnet to fish something out of here. Oh, right. Not fill it with liquid, but... There we go. <laughs> so now we can commit a federal, federal crime and get into his mailbox. So that we can get the, the hatch, hatch latch, latch for the back the of the bus. Back of the bus. Which will lead to a secret passage from the bus to more garbage, I think. <laughs> Nope, just straight up gun. A few trinkets. So there's more things down here we want. Just a pyramid ornament part? That's One not of a two. pyramid. It's, I guess it's to go on a pyramid. Eventually we're going to be dealing with a pyramid. Okay. Apparently. Uh, so we go back in here and we put this. I guess we're going to get the rest of the gun parts after we put this plaque in place. So we are going to get a real gun. Cool. Man, I was scared for a second there. You I know do kind of like that it fires a little bullet. Legit, that it. was cool. I'm so grudging at this point if the game does anything good. <laughs> All right. It's, oh, it's a tranquilizer gun. We can start mm. our own trank habit. Mm -hmm. All right. So you put it in our own mouth. <laughs> and uh -huh. load it. Uh, All right. Boom. And now what? 
We've just got a bunch of half of things and a bundle of keys. Maybe the keys open the front door of the guy's house. And we're, and you know how you when you own a house, you keep your keys in a nearby junkyard? <laughs> I think uh, it kind of worked out well. We did open the screen door. What? We, we got to pick the key out? or? I guess? Try them all. I don't care. Great. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> that was so weird. Here we are at the epicenter of Duncan's plan. Speaking of that lying egomaniac, where could he be? I don't know. Upstairs, probably. Science! Not to criticize Duncan's taste, but that pyramid hardly fits with the rest of the lumberjack gone scientist decor. Man, we are really bragging on him. <laughs> I guess the curious locks asked for curious keys. This one needs to be screwed in as far as I can conclude. Curious. Screwed in? This is all we got, so... Right. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Cool, yeah. Oops. No, what's the question mark about? There's no visible keyhole or handle. Judging from what I saw around here, this is another case of Duncan's love of strange locks. This place could do with a bit of maintenance. Even the handles are falling off. Or, you know, have been taken off to keep you from getting into it. Might be a better conclusion to draw. Oh, we're Did going up the on the roof. the statue in the rafters? No. Okay. Even the balcony is crammed with stuff. I guess Duncan isn't the tidy type. We're just going to keep... Uh, making fun of this guy, I guess. I've never seen an instrument like this. Is it a rain gauge? I'm not sure how to set it. I guess it's not going to let us try until we find some code for it. Even though there's like three things you could just yeah, clearly line those line notches. Up. See what that does. Um, how about that, secret agent? <laughs> no, let's look at the garbage. <laughs> Oh, I love filth. I'm a secret agent of filth. <laughs> Open the satchel. Uh, yeah. yeah right. Scissors, uh-huh, uh-huh. Ruler, yep. We need that, too. Funnel. Uh, God, why are we looking for DNA? You know. Get the black light out. Straight razor. The cassette tape in the back we need. Okay. There's the watch. Um, Tweezers are on top of the cans in the foreground. Okay. We've looked for a lot of tweezers. And we're out of here. <laughs> we've looked for a lot of tweezers in this game. I think this is the tweezingest game we've ever played. Um, Scotch tape's in the upper left. Or duct tape, I guess. Yeah. We need a... I guess that's a test, test tube? Oh, we need this. I clicked on this earlier. But I didn't want it then. Here's the matchbook. Screwdrivers by the safety glasses. Test tube is under the lamp. Oh, yeah. And DNA? Like, I guess we put a like slide. The DNA symbol? A slide under the, under the microscope to see it? I don't know. DNA is a weird ask. It is. I think that we probably you're probably right, and it probably is the symbol somewhere. But where? Like, oh, here. Just, like, 10% opacity. That's what With all the other chemistry stuff that they sort of carved into it. Yeah. Oh, damn, we found a mixtape. We're old enough to know that pencils go with mixtapes. <laughs> Sorry about that, millennials and younger. <laughs> They're not playing these games. They're playing Animal Crossing. Uh, They're smarter than we are. <laughs> well, they have a Switch is the real difference there. I mean, we'd play. I'd play Animal Crossing if we had a Switch. Uh, where's the... Oh, I already picked up the... Um, God damn it. I'm not trying to get that. Here we go. Uh, what, what's, what's this? Something Duncan was hiding. So now we that's can a, go open his pyramid. That's a very dumb way to hide things. It's not really hiding so much as just... 
I don't know, keeping it safe from bears. Yeah. Oh man, are we a candy floss bear? <laughs> it's a little late to have this kind of identity crisis. A razor. What were we supposed to cut? I, I know there was something that I wanted. Oh, it was back in the bus. Right. We needed to pull one more thing out of the upholstery. Uh, great. Ah, reunited. Get out of the way. We're going for the Save upholstery. my daughter. Thank you. I don't care. I'm Move. sorry to leave you like this, but Clara spent too long putting everyone else ahead of herself. Has she? It's Saving kinda, the world? Seems like she's just been... Doing the bidding of her overlords to create some really harmful technology. But then without, she changed her mind. Without really thinking about it at all. Like, not critically thinking about how designing viruses is not Let's a not great idea. Let's not think about it too much because this, honestly, is not that interesting. Get out of the way. We got upholstery to dig into. Can we take Matt and Sean home with us? Those sure, psychopaths. I, we'll pick them up on our way out. Good luck saving the world, Agent. Hey, you know, if I don't manage it, uh, you're all going to die, so you could stick around and help? No? <laughs> I could use their help, but... It's like three little science geniuses. You think you could help me with the... Okay. Goodbye, then. I'm just going to keep sifting through garbage. <laughs> I know my skill set. <laughs> uh, I love that it even said we could use their help, but I'm going to send them away anyway. Because... The game makers don't want to animate three more people <laughs> being involved in this mess. You don't want to pay those voice actors any more than you have to. Oh, uh, that's fair. Oh, boy. Aggressive, poorly socialized. Yep, that sounds like Duncan. You don't even know the guy. Why is this dude leaving his old report cards laying around? This is just weird. You know, so yeah, there's that, that other robot piece, so we can put that together. Anybody who captures him will know his sad backstory. And motivation for wanting to destroy the world. Here you go, as good as new. Well, for what? Could try to connect random cables, but I seriously doubt that would end well. I feel like we should connect random cables. Well, the world's ending, why not? Yeah. Is this... Does this go here? Maybe. It does. I thought that was a combination lock deep in there, but I guess not. Hey, remember when someone designed half a robot that we could talk to? Oh, yeah! Those were good times. <laughs> Funny. Prepare to face the music, villain! What? He isn't there! Trat, I had a whole speech prepared. You spelled speech wrong, and also, this is the worst thing you've said so far in a game full of terrible things that you've said. Uh, let's find out what his evil monologue is, Shot I guess. through the heart, <laughs> and you're to blame! Oh man, we got a Bon Jovi tape. I could use a piece of paper in case there's some. There won't be any Let's useful info. There is science facts. Learning so many facts. Ah, uh, it's Duncan's like working. bad report cards. Jesus, dude, would you throw it out? You don't have to keep dwelling <laughs> on it, you loser. Uh, a hole punch. Well, that's antique technology, isn't it? Yes. What the? What a weird thing to. So is a cassette tape. I. Oh, another poem. But I said nay. This guy is the only, he reads Thor comics. <laughs> That's how he rotted his brain. He kept blaming other people for his own failure. He even thought he was used. Poor Duncan. Hey, you know, if this guy was put in the same isolated conditions as the three kids that we've already seen mm -hmm. isolated and used for their genius, maybe he's legit in his complaints. Just a thought? Duncan took his scientist role seriously, but he was even more serious about his security. How do I get this derned thing open? Oh, this derned thing. Good lord. Glass knob. Uh... So he's got disguise stuff, too. I guess we're going to find out he doesn't even look like what we think he looks like. Who knows? He's going to be disguised as the janitor, and we're going to Have we like... even met another person in this game that he could be? <laughs> no! Charles, I guess? The, the... Santa? Yeah, Santa. But we were with Santa when we saw Duncan fleeing on camera, right? Yeah. Oh, also, aren't we supposed to play his video game? Should we are. Should we click on the monitor? But... 
Um, we don't seem like we can yet. Because we haven't turned on the tower that's under his desk. Is that it? We're old enough to remember what computer towers look like. <laughs> How you would sling them under your desk and kick them with your feet all the time. No, we've got more fucking maunderings of his to read. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our dependence on technology might lead us back to the Stone so Age. You so you definitely I'm... want to lead us back to the Stone Age. Yeah, whatever. All right. Parameters. Uh, so this is for that three-level gauge on the roof. Um, so move that to 1024. I have to put this here to prove that I know what I'm doing first. Does it How do I slide? Move it? to the right or does the oh the needle itself oh, is what okay. I have to grab look look just just go there click again to set it yeah 19 right. it's very finicky and then 58 another <laughs> mask how did that mask fit in there? I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's so bananas. I guess that's just a little extra for us. Yeah, you can just mess with his reception. <laughs> I hope I'm messing up your soaps. <laughs> even watch his reception TV anymore. All right, um... So we've just got that cable puzzle and some, another mask to collect and And at some point we're going to straight up shoot a dude. Yep. It feels like we're kind of close to the end. I think we should just push on through. Yeah. So we're coming so up against our usual time, but how hard can it be to just shoot a dude with a trank gun? Here, do you need this for this? <laughs> Interesting theory. I'm just, you know. What if we try on all the masks looking into that mirror? What if it's like facial recognition? Maybe. It's kind oh, of a wait. Long shot. It's actually got a three mask thing oh, on, the on the front. Oh, it goes on the front of the thing. It's just so dark, I can't even tell. <laughs> Does that ch say chocolate rain over and over? <laughs> Charles, Charles Petty. Petty. That name sounds vaguely familiar. That's Santa Claus. Oh. He's like. Yeah, he's gonna disguise himself as that guy and take over his. Whatever, oh, I, see. I guess his plan is to go back and look like the guy who never disappeared. Uh, I don't know which one to shoot. Is that where we're going? Maybe. Um, which Santa do we have to drink? Why? Why? What are you doing? Why do you keep going back to that? It looks like I'm supposed to be doing something with this. Like selecting the one that most closely matches. What? What? Like, am I trying to select... Where he got the letters right? Where he got it wrong? I think I'm supposed to be selecting, like, his mistakes. Uh, I guess. He did the wrong, wrong S. He put in a loop up here. You know, he's, he's not coming back. We don't have to actually... You don't have to grade his work. <laughs> right? The A's wrong. That's the wrong L. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. <laughs> he got it right here, didn't he? Yeah, it looks good. I mean, this looks the same, right? Yeah. Am I losing my mind? Am I supposed to click on a different one? What do you want? Yeah, how do we give him a passing grade? What do you want, game? Game, he's, he, he figured it out. He figured it out. He got and it we right. He figured it out. That, that was the I same. That was basically the same. Blank settings card. Okay. Those three kids are working hard. It's actually quite impressive. Are you serious? This time, three only kids. Five different chemicals to start the reaction. Uh, probably this the time, chemistry. It only took five different chemicals to start the reaction. Fuck you. Even though four of the resulting molecules were unstable, I'm satisfied. The virus will spread through the seven continents in a matter of days. Even Antarctica, really? <laughs> That's it? 
that's is that it? That's it. Punch right. card. So now we go connect up some cables in the other room, and then it's gonna open his cab. Wait, we, we got the cabinet open. Um, no. This will do it. Pin it up somewhere. What? Where do you want this game? You always want us to pin this shit up. Why are you not taking it now? Cool. Well, the chemical one went to five. All right. Uh, I don't think it's gonna let me. It's not gonna let me do it unless this is up here. And it so won't we have put to find out here. where it's gonna allow us to put this cheat sheet up. Yes, and this isn't even something we can fucking skip. This is this is, doesn't count as a puzzle game. What do you want? It's a hit hint. All Just right. click for a hint. Maybe uh, we're missing something. I suppose I'd better move along. Close this. What? Right. Hint. What do you want? So there's something else we need to do in here to maybe fill out the rest of that inventory card? Oh, for fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? What? Like it's a computer card? Evidently. That is the oldest technology. <laughs> hey, we thought we had I to come say, find you. Agent, I'm impressed. You managed to come a lot farther than I thought you would. Uh huh. Under different circumstances, I'd want to study your potential. Could you just hold still while we drink you? But Please. I have important things to take care of. And don't get any ideas about being a hero. It's really too late to do anything. It's time to make the world fight, to rise up from its ignorance and lethargy. As for you, I'm afraid I can't just let you go. Okay. Shoot him. Right in the neck. <laughs> oh, shit. We got to aim? Uh, what do I... Just, to... just take your time, RoboCop. Move the horizontal axis up. Right in the throat. All right. <laughs> I believe he'll be surprised when he wakes up in the police station. Well deserved, may I say. Don't don't say that. Don't say that. You're annoying and I can't wait to be done with you. This like we could have figured this out. Yeah, but we hundred percent were ready to go five in the one slot. Yeah, but And all you've done is made it dumber for us. Yes, well they hate us. And they've made that abundantly clear. What? I guess we got to bounce something off the satellites? Fire the signal from one satellite to another starting in the upper left until it reaches the base station in the lower right. You Ooh, can is this timing based? transfer the signal between facing uh, satellites facing each other. Do you want to do this one? Sure. All right. I'm going to give it over to you because I'm tired I of this. Because I suspect that if we click this, it'll fire into the... Oh. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. You fired it into that, and now and this it's... one's got it. <laughs> you so they only... No, it, it made it. Oh, okay. It's a little more forgiving than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. Got it. Yep. <laughs> See how I got it on the angle? Uh-huh. Oh, this one's really spinny. No, you missed. There we go. Practically a handoff. Whoa! Okay, let it do it. Cool, now let's do a different thing. Connect, Connect all the dots. All the dots without going over the same one twice. So, like... You gotta click on the first one. But it knows that that's the first one, so why do I gotta click on the first one? Why would it spare you anything? So, Clara said that she built into this game some kind of way that, like you could beat it. 
and then it would deactivate it. And that way was I messed up. to play the game. You were pretty close. You took one. Yeah, long. with a little more thought, I could have got it. Yeah. All right. Uh, place your token to capture the opponent's tokens on the adjacent fields. Whoever has more tokens at the end of a game is a winner. What? What? Like what? Chinese checkers or? Um. Yeah. Oh, when you touch them, you convert them. It's like Othello. I'm kind of terrible at that game. Oh, uh, and then you can jump, huh? Uh huh. And then. Jump back. Oh. Oh, you're good. <laughs> you're good at this game you invented. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow! <laughs> I'm losing so bad! You kind of are. I could not be doing worse. I mean, I think you could be doing worse, but I'm not sure how. Look at that. Hmm... I wonder if it's important to claim the outside. No, because you can get jumped. Holy crap, Alula. Yeah, this is complicated. Complicated and kind of a pain in the ass and just generally not fun to watch or to do. So, I'm kind of suggest suggesting maybe skip it. Yeah, we gotta end this video. <laughs> ba -da, ba -da! In this world, there will always be those who are poisoned by revenge and power. Who Who's talking? Who wage war on mankind. Santa. But there will also be those brave enough to stand up to them, to fight against despair, chaos, and destruction. To dig you through know, trash. It takes a lot of talent to sleep through an adventure like that. I wish we did. <laughs> they are willing to give all they can to protect our world. We By call leaving them early. Heroes. Oh, you mean like those three kids who caused all the problems? Thanks, science teens, for leaving when it got dangerous. <laughs> well, they are teenagers, but how about don't make deadly computer viruses or physical viruses in the first place? Just because someone asked you to and said they'd give you an A for it. There you go. That's the lesson to take away, folks. <laughs> Don't murder the world for good grades. <laughs> That's our tip to you. That's our tip. That's what we learned. So remember, we got this one for free. For God's sake, do not pay for this if you want to play it. Uh, we um, highly recommend instead if, to just go out and shoot somebody else in the throat with a tranquilizer. Because honestly, that was the highlight. Yeah. So we entered bullet time <laughs> and stood there blinking. <laughs> That's true. That was the best part. And most of these don't give you that kind of satisfaction, so I'll give it credit for that and only that. Right. Uh, well, we made a mistake so that you don't have to. <laughs> Hope uh, you have something else exciting happen in your day to wipe away the memory of what we've all just witnessed. <laughs> Saving the world. Who knew it could be that boring and involve touching so much trash with our candy floss hands. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. We will see you again later. Goodbye. Bye.